Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to walk you through CodeDamp Playgrounds because it's been a while since we have talked about how interactive learning and at CodeDamp is working, how playgrounds are working. So it might be a good idea and it might be a good video to just walk you through the work we have been doing. And the most exciting thing which I'm excited about <laughs> In showing this video is the LSP, the language server provider feature, which VS Code platforms like VS Code also comes with. That is now officially supported on Code Dump Playgrounds. So what do I mean by that? Let's see. Let's start with a very basic React project, right? I'm gonna create a React project now. Okay, so once your project is booted, you can see that I'm running a weed project over here with an editor, with a Monaco editor in the center. What has now changed in Code Dump Playgrounds is two things. The first thing is that your IntelliSense is now much more more smart. For example, if you start writing use effect, you can see it can auto import from React library itself, like it would work in VS Code or in any other, uh, you know, modern text editor. Similarly, if I have like state set state as something which is use state, you can see that I can press Control Space and you know just use autocomplete just like it would work in React or it would work in VS Code, basically. So you can see it's basically smart now in a way, even though this is a JSX file, we have TypeScript IntelliSense enabled and it gets a really good if you add a TS config and you know, if your project is TypeScript, it's completely type safe. You would get a lot of type completions. You would get a lot of IntelliSense out of the box inside Code Damp Playgrounds. This is on par with how VS Code currently works. We support a bunch of languages like you can create a script.py like this and you know you can just start working with the libraries of python as well you can press control space and it will just give you start giving you options on how you can work with let's say python for example we support similarly for c c java and we aim to extend it to pretty much all the languages which exist starting with you know the most important thing for us is supporting web developers so we have started with javascript right now i would really highly recommend you to go ahead and try maybe porting some of your projects or prototyping something and enjoy the intelligence and enjoy the auto completion and smart way of working with this this vs code like feature now available on godam playgrounds the second thing which i'm excited about is the browser dev tools browser console so you can see over here it actually is basically the implementation of a browser console in real time so i can just clear the logs and you can see the console was cleared i can say alert one plus one and it'll just alert two for example so it's just working how you would expect a browser dev tools to work but you can see that this is actually not a real browser dev tools because for that you have to open it in a new tab right click inspect and now you are inside chrome dev tools but this is a pretty pretty neat representation of a browser dev tools this is from an open source implementation of dev tools available i can link it in the description if you want to check it out but this is this tool over here is open source right so you can see that if i for example write console.log hello world from react it would automatically hot reload and it will show up in the console right here pretty cool stuff you don't have to you know just go forward and open it in a new tab and you know just debug it like you would usually used to you can just write a lot of things and you can work with a lot of functions and you know basically everything is supported from formatting to console types and console.error will show it in red and so on so it's it will feel all home all natural to you and that is how I want and that is how we want the development to feel like on Code Dump Playgrounds. There's a lot that can be improved. There's a lot we are working on to improving, starting with a few important things. IntelliSense was one. Ex providing a better development experience, developer debugging experience was another. The terminals over here is the next thing which we are thinking of revamping completely to support much more actions. And then finally, having the ability to have proper testing of labs, which is inside courses, would be the next thing which we will revamp. So right now you can see, as you can see, this project is based on Vite and, you know, React. 
or over wheat it's it loads super fast if you give it a refresh you're gonna see it just sets up your playground sets up your environment extremely quickly this is the time it takes to set up the container and get your files and this is the time when it takes to install all the packages and everything and we expect it to get so much faster once let's say a new runtime like bun gets stable and we can use bun instead of yarn for installation because bun again comes with some special magic underlying operating system writing apis which are much faster so it can reduce from half a second to probably much less in terms of like a overall booting procedure so i'm pretty excited about what all we can do what what the future entails for code damn playgrounds and this is consider this just just as a quick update on what's happening on playgrounds if you're new here you should know that playgrounds is a completely free and open service to anyone and everyone so you can go on codedamcom slash playgrounds irrespective of you having a pro account or a free account or a student account if you don't know about that you can apply as a student if you have pro free or student account doesn't matter you can just go ahead and get started with playgrounds and get all of these benefits absolutely for free of no cost so that is all for this one let me know what you think about the revamped infrastructure and the revamped way of working with code on playgrounds i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching